cheese on bread i have fallen in love with barbados no one can convince me that this is not one of the most beautiful if not the most beautiful country in the whole world <laughs> i want to move here hi my name is william we are usually late <laughs> we are usually late oh so, so you fooled us because you've always been on time so yes. if we, we thought everyone keeps time my here my words always have to be on time that's my job to be on time all the time so when a person say i will see you in one hour it can be two hours oh, wow. but we are coming we call it island time you are always going to be there whether you're late or early but you will be there so sometimes a person say i'll see you soon but they now have to go to the shower fix their hair <laughs> and all that but they'll see you soon or they say ah 15 minutes i'll see you but they will be there island time we are coming wow. but we will be late a new time i learned today um what is it that you taught me taking time is not laziness so if you see me walking slowly and looking around it's not that i'm lazy i'm just taking my time island time i love that i love that so much that's what i'm gonna be telling maya all the time because he's been rushing me i'm trying to tell you I'm taking sorry. time sorry. taking time ain't laziness yeah. okay boy I, I i lived in china uh -huh. i will respect time so much why because time is money so i don't like it when I travel with her and she doesn't want to respect her, I but will need to be time and laziness. Because I, I, taking time and laziness, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not laziness. <laughs> exactly. I'm just, you know, it's Caribbean time. I told you I'm loving you know, this place. And, and you know what you're saying? It's not just Caribbean time. We call it the African time. Yeah, we so call it island, island time. Island time. It means that we are indeed the same people because in Africa, if somebody invites you for a wedding, yeah. so they say one o'clock. Yeah. Know that the wedding is gonna start at four o'clock. Yes. If you dare to go at one, you'll be the only person at the wedding. Yes. Same culture the here. Same here. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we from Ghana. Remember, remember, yeah. we are ninety-two percent yeah. of black people. Ninety-two percent yeah. of Africans. So we understand. Girl, just today are the next targets from the international world. Who's targets? Four to Yami. Four to Yami. Expel you. Everybody going from around here. Because they went to Israel. So they're going to target you next. Yeah, we have to worry now. Expel all the French gold miners from around here. Left from here. I don't know. 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 I I don't want to eat for that either. Yeah. So them is the next two African leaders that can get targeted. Yes, no. Watch so, it. Watch so it. You see, he knows his history. Yeah, he Watch knows. Just a car washer, just yeah. a relaxed guy, but full of history. Yeah. He reads yeah. the news every day, he buy Watch a newspaper, yeah. watch the television. Like, yeah. like what is happening in yeah. Africa today. Yeah. One thing that is very impressive about the streets of Barbados is how clean they, the streets are. The streets are squeaky clean. Like when I say clean, I mean extremely clean. And then you see how you usually see guys like begging in the streets like in many towns they don't have that here i've not seen even one person begging i'm not saying it's an african thing because i've seen it happening even in the states you guys are begging you for money when you're in the states and stuff like that but i haven't seen that in barbados and i was asking our driver are there no beggars in the streets and he's like he did maybe one or two but not really and I'm like, oh my god, I'm blown away. I, I, I love this place. Let's take a walk. So guess who we met in the streets of Barbados? We met a family that actually watches our videos. Hi guys, yes, we watch all your videos. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. What's your name? Crystal. Kevin. Oh, so you guys are from this country, but yes. you're not based here? Yeah. No, we moved to the UK ah. in 20... Well, I moved over first in 2010, and then she came over in 2013. Yeah, 2013. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. So nice to meet you guys. Can you tell guys one beautiful thing about your country each? Something people might not know. The people. Yeah. Yes. A lot of people come here for the sun, the sun, the sea. But we come home because we miss the people more than anything else. 
Bajan people are lovely. They're kind. They will open their door friendly. to you. They're friendly. Yeah. Down to earth. You know, hospitable. Yeah. The people, more than anything else. I noticed that you guys are so kind. Do you have any other? See. Ah, food. The food. For me, yeah, for me it's food. It's little food. So. Oh. Yeah. What every, one every food you, would you recommend that you try before you oh, leave Barbados? There's Barbado? a place I just saw what it was called. That's what? Chefet. Chefet. Yeah. That's <laughs> the leading fast food restaurant. It's a fast food. Yeah. It's a fast food restaurant. It's a fast food restaurant, but very, very good. Thank yeah. you so much for your time. Oh, so nice to meet you guys. No worries at nice all. Nice to meet you nice too. Nice to meet you as well. Hey, bye. Right. Oh, that was so nice, you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah we go. I have met someone who has told me I go, I've got to try Chefet before I leave Barbados. He said it's the best place to eat in this country. So, so fast food. Yes. So guess what? That was morning, it's now lunchtime and we are heading to Shafet. So we're gonna try it out. Apparently I've been told that it's owned by Abijan. According to me the streets are never packed. Today we are seeing more people than we had the other day but they are not packed. You know, I don't know if they have downtown in Barbados. But well, we'll see. The streets are generally clean, neat and are uh, very safe. Ooh. The aroma inside here is something else. They told me you can never come to Barbados and not come to Shafet, so here I am in Shafet. The question is what should I order? I've been looking at this menus and I'm like, I don't even know anything in this menus. Like what are they saying? <laughs> But I guess we'll figure it out. Um, we are not from Barbados. What would you recommend? The water. No, no, no. You don't want roti? No, please get me my. You have chicken wings? Oh my god, everyone's food is a lot. Mine is so little. Guys, look at mine. This is it. This is my food. You didn't know it's, what it's called roti. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't need to try it. I may want stick tight. Lip share. Cheese on bread, guys. This is so good. <laughs> it's so tasty. Oh my gosh. Best chicken ever. So good. It tastes so different, so unique. Never eaten chicken that tastes like this before. But it's so good. I don't know how they do it. I don't know the spices they use. I don't know if it's a secret ingredient, but wow. Just wow. Mm. And the fries too are also different. Mm. Apparently this is what, it's called roti. This is what the roti looks like. Never eaten this before. It's very hot. I'm gonna give it a try. I find the, um, the beef very strong. Cheese on bread, guys! This ice cream is so good. The food was so tasty. Oh my god. That is a place to eat whenever you come to Barbados. Only place you find Chefet is in Barbados. No other place in the world has a Chefet. Only Barbados. There it is. One hour later. Hey guys, Barbados is full of wonders. One thing you should totally do when you come to Barbados is go for this Atlantis submarine ride. An experience that is unique. An adventure in a real submarine. You literally go under the water and you have the underwater experience. I am so scared. I won't lie, but you have one life. Uh, just like I was having a discussion with Maya, we were like, we've done some really crazy things. Like we climbed Mount Kilimanjaro for nine days. We did bungee jumping. Oh, the scariest thing I've done in my whole entire life. We swam in the Nile, like in the middle of the river Nile, which is the largest river. The second largest river in the world and the largest river in Africa. We've done some crazy stuff, zip lining in some really crazy places, but this... This one will top the list, guys. This one will definitely top the list. Going underwater, man. Ah, and they are saying that the size is 65 feet long and the capacity is 48 uh, passengers. The cabin 
is air contained at normal sea level pressure and uh, approved to 150 feet. Safety features are all systems are duplicated. Surface vessels maintain a constant radio contact with the submarine and the speed is one to a half knot submerged. Social media influencer, I'm their reader of everything. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But Phil and I work together um, looking at how we can open the African market, which I think was a full trade. Oh, so he, he, I saw his post that he was coming out. And I said, oh, you can't come to my medicine. submarine immediately i guess we are we are going somewhere then we get into the submarine anyway i'm gonna take you guys with me so let's go all right now it'll take us about 25 minutes before we reach the site we reach the submarine um when we get there what will happen is the ocean quest which is this vessel will put alongside the atlantic 15 submarine and the crew will be fastened two vessels together using the series of ropes so well that's being done and the tourists are currently on board the submarine will join us here on the ocean quest. Once you're all off, the submarine is sanitized, and then you guys will be given the all clear to board the submarine. And so once we are all inside the submarine nice and safe, and the hatches are actually sealed, the tour is 40 to 45 minutes long. There are no restrooms on board the submarine. So, have to keep it. No, ah, ah. you don't have to keep it. You, you can let it go right now on the Ocean Quest. We have two restrooms uh, downstairs at the rear. With the males on the left side of the boat and the females on the right side. Where will we be going down from? I can see. It seems like the submarine is right over there. It's right. Really? But it's down. Because you can oh see. You can see something moving. Yeah, I can see something inside the water. From the water. Wow. This is so beautiful, man. Jeez. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. It literally came from just nowhere. Came from... And then just ah. surfaced on top of this water. What a beautiful place. Oh, one life, man. And you gotta leave it. This is once in a lifetime. You experience this once. And then you don't do it again. Have you ever done such a thing? And if you haven't, would you ever do such a thing? Guys, we're going in. Turn around on the back. Hello, hello, hello. Can everyone hear me clearly? Yeah. All right, welcome aboard. 
more guys. No more. I'm joined by your boy Hugh way out the front. Can everyone give you a big welcome for me, please? Woo! Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard the Atlantis 15. Uh, momentarily, we will be on dive number 21,020. So we have been down here quite a few times before. We've secured our hatches. We're going to make our way down. You will be able to listen to the communications between myself and the surface officer as we descend. So just stand by for that. Right about now, ladies and gentlemen, is a good time to turn around, greet the person sitting directly behind you. That person is going to be your backrest. Oh my goodness! This is a bit of a when we travel along the reef. It's also oh. locked down to the crevices because you never know what you may find. We're moving in together. Our reef is made up of two oh types of coral, goodness, which would be hard man. coral and soft coral. So those rock types of structures you guys are seeing would be the hard ocean. coral. Some uh, examples would be boulder coral, which is a out of a boulder, and brain coral, which is a out of a human brain. And of course the plant like structures you may see swaying in the current would be the soft coral. Some examples would be sea fans and feather plumes. Rum effluent is basically rum base that is manufactured here for our distillery on the island. The rum base is first diluted with water and then pumped through a working pipeline. Now they say it's not harmful to the environment. However, if you're going to see any fish swimming upside down, just know they're swimming under the influence. Oh, <laughs> That's so fast. Hey. Oh my god, look at that. It's like a lot of them. There's too many, but it's so blue, you can't see them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. How can I do that? It's so bad you just to join them. I love this. I love this. I love this. Alright, that, that turtle will be on the starboard side now. Take a look, you'll be on the starboard side. Tiny grey fish with black and yellow vertical stripes passing by. Those are known as the Sergeant Majors. Are they given that name because the amount of stripes on their body equals that to the rank of a Sergeant Major in the Army. Now, the male Sergeant Major usually does is he will swim around until he finds the perfect nest. Once he's found his nest, he will then search for a female and do a lot of dance to capture attention. Once a female is wooed, she'll then go. Therefore, there is government assistance in servicing this up from the inside. The other reason is due to insurance. Now, we currently maintain a 4 to 1 ratio, which basically means for every four of you, we only need to take back up one of you guys. What? Children and crew usually go back to the surface. However, we are perfectly fine with you guys deciding amongst yourselves who would be that one person. Welcome to the Hunger Games. Now 
This used to be a freshwater vessel delivering fresh water and goods to the larger vessels before the harbor was completed in 1961. After its services were no longer required. Should be seeing the right there, Mr. Albert, at the front. Oh, wow, there's a lot of them. Yeah, there's so many. This is one of the best things I've done in my whole entire life. I will forever remember this, and I'm so grateful to BTMI for making this possible. At this point, we are at the floor of the ocean, about 128 feet below sea level. And this experience is amazing. It's a smaller piece. <laughs> it's just to the, the sand that you see. Guys. The other way is just all marine life, such as parrotfish, fish, chubs, and so on. And what these fish do, they feed on algae. Yeah. Yeah. Which grows on the sand surface of the coral reefs. Yeah. 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 I was so scared, but I guess I was prepared to do my head back out. I'm sorry, that's why I was scared. But I'm glad I did this. This is so cool. I was actually taking a trip back. Being under the water. Oh, that was fun. One of the craziest things we've ever done, for sure, for sure, for sure. And the best thing about it is that it was so worth it. Hello. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah. Guys, I've been given certificates. Thank you. That's not my name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the same too. Don't you worry. I was like, my name is not Chris. So cool. is so cool. <laughs> awesome. Oh, are you from Barbados? Yes, I lived here all my whole life. Were you born here? Born and raised in Barbados. Oh wow. What do you love most about your country? Um, probably the fact that we don't get as much uh, crime and violence as some of the other That's neighbors. That's so true. Like your country is so safe. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's far from the worst that you could get. What do you think makes it safe? Um, I'm not really sure. I guess it's just the culture. Oh, nice. It's most likely just the culture. Okay, is this, uh, this country is hot. Is this how it usually is through the year? Um, yes, it is usually very hot. Um, most days of the year it's really sunny. Um, even in the rainy season, it's not that much rain. Mm -hmm. And this is probably as cool as it's going to get now in December, and it's still very hot. That's crazy. So, what's the hottest month? The hottest month is probably July and August. Wow. June, July, August. But I think when we had the hottest year last uh, on record is last year, I think. So. It's not going to get much cooler than this, and it's just where everyone comes yeah, here for the summer, for, wow. the, for the winter, sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you for the information. Yeah, no problem. All right, enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, bye. The next day. I am excited to let you guys know that we have been invited for horse racing. This is the first time I'm going to such an event, and I am thrilled. It's heading to 5 p.m. and this place is packed. You know, like cars everywhere, traffic, people. And um, we are not even inside yet. So let's walk in and see what this place is all about. Oh, there she is. Masha. Guys, we're finally here. Let's go and see what this place is all about. I am so oily. 
I forgot my powder yesterday night where we were at a dinner party and so I did my foundation and everything but my powder so I'm looking so oily but it is what it is shout outs to everyone watching who has an oily skin <laughs> oh, let's go how's your day been that's where guys get tickets so they, they bet this is where they do the betting they bet they bet on the horses yeah. Yeah. wow oh my gosh so what happens if they win so let me come let me introduce you myself this gentleman here knows all about betting oh. and which horse you know is oh, wow oh, hello hello nice friend thank you this is Mia's husband oh nice. I met your husband earlier nice to meet you nice to meet you too Sabon nice to meet you Sabon is the minister of tourism advisor oh nice yes and this is Stephen hi nice to meet you nice to meet you nice to meet you you guys are having fun in Barbados yeah we're loving it yeah, yeah. yeah. you've been told you have people bet but this is like the main betting area oh nice you can bet upstairs so what happens when they win you come back here and collect. I just want eighty dollars. What? I want a bet. Like I two dollars and fifty cents. No, yeah, no, my bets like um the the ones that are not real. Okay, like, this is real. This is real. Oh, wow, so you actually win. Yes. <gasps> this is so interesting. Yeah. And how many horses are there? Like how many horses are racing? And so they about there there are nine races today. So the, the, all of these are boxes, private boxes for VIP guests, and they come here and do their bets here as as well. Oh, so we are going to our VIP box. Yes. Thank you for the VIP treatment. You're welcome. <laughs> so. Wow. This is so cool, right? So we're here. Okay. First time experiencing anything like this. Hi. Right Hi. 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 Oh my god, I can't believe it. You again? I was hoping to see you again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And this is what goes on inside here. There's food. Hello, how are you? There's food. Oh, I've got to try these meatballs. Um, hello. Chair Lady of the Barbados Tourism Marketing. Hello. Hi, Trudy. This Hi. is me. Hi. 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 How are you? Hi. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Welcome. Thank you. And this is Tracy. Hi, Tracy. How are you? Hi, Hi Kalia. How are you? I'm Trudy. I'm fine. This is Peter Ram. Peter Ram is actually one of our top um, soca artists. Oh, really? He travels all over the world, promoting soca. Uh -huh. All right, so. This is one of those horses, so Trudy is actually Mia's wife. Jeffrey was here earlier. Yeah, so this is his wife. Oh, this is nice to meet you. Yeah. She has her own channel as well. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mia was actually given up with Alison. This is Trudy, Mia's wife. Oh, hi. Hi, yeah. how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And this is uh, Cory. Cory works with the Oh, nice to meet you too. I'm Trudy. You're Trudy? Yeah. Okay, you're Trudy. Oh, Trudy, this is your Trudy. No, she's from Kenya. From Kenya. Okay, nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank you. Awesome. You're enjoying your time here? I'm loving it so far. Yeah, you're loving it so far. Yeah. So, I'm just going to move to Barbados. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Oh, you're from Florida. Oh, you first came here? Yeah? Yeah. 
Oh, it's my first time here. Yeah. Such a beautiful place. Oh, I love it. So different from what I'm used to. Yeah, I, I want to come back again. Nice to meet you. Stickers. This is crazy. Yeah. You only see this like a game. But now you're watching it live. I know, right? Oh my god. I hope there's another. While we were coming up, there was a race happening. I hope there's more for us to see. And as uh, we were telling you earlier, we are in the VIP section. We are being treated like VIP here in Barbados. And that's why I'm in love with this country. From where we are staying. What's the name of our hotel? Windham Grand. To, you know, everywhere we go to our transportation, like this government is really treating us like VIP and we are so grateful. Thank you, thank you so much to the government of Barbados and every Barbadian. Oh, Bijan, Bijan. Yeah, that's how you call yourselves, I was told. So, yeah, um, so now I'll tell you guys we are in the VIP section. I've met some VIP guys in the country and everyone is just so friendly. I'm like, oh my god. Oh, like, are there people who are friendlier than people in Barbados? I don't know. I've not met any, you know. So, <laughs> let me know. So we're in the VIP section, we are, it's divided into cubes, so people are in different cubes. Um, and then there's where now there's everybody, which is down there. Oh, there's a host. That's one that one. Oh wow. What does the winning most get? Look at that. Oh wow. So it's being taken around for people to see. Huh? Oh it has socks. Oh my gosh, the house is wearing socks. It is so cool. I only see this in the movies. Let me tell you. Barbados is like a movie. Yeah. And it looks like a big deal because they are being in the winner is being interviewed. They've, they've got cameras, or is it paparazzi? You know, oh, it's so cool. Let me see if we have Wi Fi. So I post this on my Instagram, which reminds me if you're not following me on Instagram, my name is Miss Trudy. Same name on my YouTube channel is the same name on my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram guys um, I'm wondering how many uh, days does this event go for? Okay, it's a one day event um, we normally have races every two weeks in Barbados but there are certain iconic race days uh, Boxing Day, what we call the 26th of December Boxing Day is our uh, one of those iconic days we have another iconic day which is the Sand Lane which is normally in March and the, the beach at my our tourist board also has another iconic day in date in August and so there are some significant days and dates but races in the Barbados happens every two weeks. Okay, what does the winner get? Um normally a, a cash prize so it varies. Um the owner can get number one, two and three, first, second and third normally get range from a uh, hundred thousand um, dollars to uh, 50 to 30 um, and then That's it ranges. Good money. It's good money. But remember we, we put a lot of money into our horses so but you can I, I mean some days like a sand lane woke up you can have a payout of a purse of a maybe two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. Quite a bit. Okay, so if there's someone watching and they'd like to attend, what is something you, you can tell them to encourage them to come? What is something unique that people need to know about this? Well, um, races in Barbados, you know, what is special for us right now? Um, traditionally, only the very, very rich have resources. That is not the case in Barbados. That's exactly what we are talking about. Like yes. in our countries, this is considered a rich people thing, yes. you know? In Barbados, I guess it started off like that, 
God is not like that anymore. So you have now uh, persons who grew up around the neighborhood that um, just fell in love with horses, they trained and grew up on them, and now they have invested in their own horse, groomed them. I have one guy here that he not only is the groom, but he also rides the horse and he wow. won. Oh really? That's won. amazing. Yeah, and he has won. Awesome. So it has been, uh, what is unique for us is that you can be an owner and you and it doesn't matter you don't have to be a millionaire you don't have to be a very rich person to own a horse in Barbados and have them participate and be able to to afford so if you see a cross-section of people at the races they're from all walks of life wow so that's, uh, that's amazing yeah. thank you so much you're welcome Again. Um, when I went there, it was um, President Moy. Oh wow, that's an, a long time ago. Things have changed. For the better or the worse? For the better. Welcome again. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Guys, so I decided to have some snacks. These meatballs are super tasty. I haven't had the rest yet, but uh, if they were cooked by the same person who the meatballs, I'm sure they are really tasty. And some orange juice. So this is what I'm going to be having as I enjoy watching. Now it's getting dark now. Um, I think these horses are the ones that are going to be racing soon. And I'm here for it. I'm here to enjoy it. So let's sit down, eat and watch. Guys, they started, they started. Oh my god. They're going to pass it, right? This is so cool. I've never been to such an event. I've seen horses. I've been on a horse before. But on horse uh, racing events like this, I've never been to any before. So this is quite cool. Now everybody has come out. Everyone is moving towards this side because everyone wants to see. The reason I'm talking is because the horses are still far. So we can't see them, but they're coming close. So this brings me to the end of my video although i came in late i have still had an amazing time never before have i attended such an event a horse race it's always assumed to be for you know other people you, you know what i mean however it has been 
really amazing to learn that here in Barbados, everyone is included. You know, it doesn't matter your stature, your gender, your age. Everyone just hands up and has an amazing time. I hope to attend such an event again in future. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up and share. Until next time. Bye.